Sam Kerr is the best footballer in the women's game. Her journey to the top is unbelievable, with her going from hating the sport to becoming the female version of Lionel Messi. The road has been extremely difficult and the story starts in Perth, Australia, Sam's hometown. She was born into a dominantly male family, most of which were professional athletes in a sport called Australian Rules Football, which appears to be a mix between football and rugby. Sam followed in the steps of her family and at a very very young age began playing Aussie rules. Sam was the only girl in her youth teams which shaped her to be the strong and fast thinking athlete she is today. Unfortunately at age 12 she wouldn't be allowed to continue playing the sport due to gender restrictions. Because of her speed, skill and agility she was recommended soccer and joined her local female clubs. Sam quoted, I started at 12. Before that it was all AFL. I hated soccer when I was a kid. I never had a soccer ball around the house. While playing for her youth amateur side, she was spotted by Australian football legend Bobby Despotovsky, who had never seen a female player with such exceptional talent. He contacted Perth Glory and recommended they give this girl a chance. Perth Glory trialled Sam and it didn't take long for them to play her in their main team. Sam made her professional debut at 15 years old playing on the wing and she won goal of the year and later bagged player of the year. Her debut season ended with one goal in seven games. Also that year, Sam made her international debut for Australia's senior team as a 15 year old. She scored her first international goal in the Asian Cup final against North Korea, which led to Sam's first of many trophies. Sam's newfound global reputation reached teams in the USA, a country known for their exceptional standard for women's football. They pitched her the idea of coming over to play in their top class league. Sam accepted the golden offer with Western New York Flash, leaving Australia with an impressive record of 18 goals in 46 games as a youngster. Sam made an instant impact and exceeded expectations. Despite the skill of the players in the league, no one had ever seen such talent in a young player before. It did not take Sam long at all to adapt to the league as she finished her first season with no nine goals in 12 games. The Flash head coach said of Sam, with her attributes, her speed, athleticism and instincts, if she continues to develop at the rate she is, Sam can become one of the best strikers in the world, and so she would become. As American football traditions hold, players can get drafted out and traded across clubs. Sam was offered to complete a college scholarship elsewhere, but she decided to return home to Perth, Australia to continue her career. She made her second day and scored the winning goal. Then the following game scored two more in her team's 10-1 thrashing against Western Sydney Wanderers. That season would end with an exceptional stat of 11 goals in 10 games. Sam was the new Queen of Australia and won award after award including the Australian MVP and numerous player of the seasons. By 2018 she had 33 goals to her name and was praised as the best women's footballer in the entire world. Although she still had to prove herself outside her native country. International teams offered contracts of up to $300,000 which is serious money in the women's game. However Sam accepted a $400,000 contract to stay in Perth. The following season she proved her worth by finishing top of the goal scoring list with 18 goals in 13 games including a hat trick in a semi-final match to book Perth's place in the grand final. Sam decided to accept the challenge of proving herself in other countries and flew back to the US to join Chicago Red Stars. She got off to a slow start by going seven games without a goal but once Sam adapted to the environment she ended her American stay with 35 goals in 43 games. Despite being the deadliest goal scorer on two continents across numerous seasons, many felt Sam still hadn't yet reached her ceiling. She was yet to be challenged and tested in an environment where she can grow beyond everyone's expectations. England
In November 2019, Women's Super League side Chelsea announced Sam would be joining the side on a two and a half year deal. When the January window finally opened, Sam, of course, made an instant impact. Her debut against Reading allowed her to show off her skill, and despite not scoring, the playmaking abilities already gave her the title of the female Messi. Sam's first goal came against rivals Arsenal, the team she also beat in the final to secure Chelsea the League Cup. With Sam now in the side, Chelsea went on to win the 2019-20 league title. On a personal note, she got just one goal in eight games. However, her performances still made her stand out. As manager Ralph Hasenhuter once said, sometimes scoring goals can be like shaking ketchup. They may take a while to happen, but once it does, it all comes out at once. This was the case for Sam, who in 2020-21 ended her goal drought by scoring 31 of them. This included a hat-trick to retain the League Cup, win the Women's Community Shield, win the Women's Super League, and reach the final of the Champions League. 2021-22 has arguably been even better for Sam. She dazzled the football world with her remarkable skills, scoring goals with finesse and setting records along the way. From hat-tricks within minutes to crucial assists for her teammates, Sam's instant impact on the field was undeniable. She even added a signature backflip celebration to her locker leaving fans mesmerised. But she didn't stop there. In a match against Arsenal, she scored a brace and secured the FA Cup, completing an unprecedented domestic quadruple for Chelsea. Her goal-scoring prowess was unmatched, making her the leading scorer in the Women's Super League and earning her numerous accolades, including the Golden Boot and another Player of the Year title. Returning to Chelsea after the Asian Cup with Australia, Sam Kerr continued to shine, scoring goals in a spectacular spectacular seven match streak. She broke her own records and left opposing teams stunned as she found the net repeatedly. Recognised as the Women's Footballer of the Year and voted into the prestigious PFA Team of the Year, Sam's brilliance was applauded by fans and critics alike. With over 32 goals to her name, including crucial winners and breathtaking volleys, Sam played a pivotal role in Chelsea's consecutive league and cup victories. Her talent and impact on the game was simply unparalleled. In summary, Sam's journey in the 2021-22 season was a breathtaking display of skill, record-breaking performances and unforgettable moments. She has captivated audience, leaving a mark on Chelsea's history and securing her place as the greatest footballer in the women's game. She truly has that Didier Drogba aura around her. 2022-23 has been a huge season for Sam, which, on a personal note, started with her appearing on the cover of FIFA 23, along with Kylian Mbappe, becoming the first ever female footballer to appear on the global cover of a FIFA game. Statistically, Sam has bagged 27 goals in 37 games for Chelsea. She has had to step up her game massively due to the fact her goal-scoring partner, Fran Kirby, has suffered a serious injury. Oh, and on the international level, Sam is now Australia's all-time top scorer, male and female, overtaking the legend that is Tim Cahill with 63 goals so far. Sam's journey to the top has been incredible but it has nothing on what Kevin De Bruyne had to go through to be the legend he is. Watch his story by clicking the video on screen.